In October 2006, Operation of Hope came to Zimbabwe, Africa to further their mission of improving the quality of life of people afflicted with cleft lip, cleft palate, and facial deformities. Children born with cleft palate and lips face many difficulties. They can have difficulty eating and speaking. They face numerous surgeries and a lifetime of teasing and ostracism. In the past 20 years, Operation of Hope and its team of volunteers has impacted the lives of over 1,800 children. In the past six months alone, Operation of Hope has donated 183 cleft lip and cleft palate surgeries in Ecuador and another 120 cases in Africa. How are you? This past October, while in Zimbabwe, Operation of Hope met a 15-year-old boy named Beloved. This young man came to the hospital, hoping that we might be able to help him with a horrible accident he had been living with since he was 10 years old. After the recent war in Zimbabwe, Beloved was playing in his grandmother's backyard and accidentally encountered a landmine, which destroyed the lower portion of his face. It was a handsome, dark, brown young boy. And her mother was very much interested in him because he was the only boy she had. On that dreaded day over six years ago, Beloved was playing under the eye of his grandmother, Judy. People were beating people, running about, hiding things where you never know. And the kid picked those things without my knowledge. And they were trying to play with it. And the accident happened. All of a sudden, we had a bang sound. It was terrible. You had blood all over. And you know, it's like he, his mouth was all in pieces. I couldn't believe my son can get better. I even cried because I couldn't see even his eyes, even his nose, because the face was as big, so swollen like this, even the mouth was like this, wide open like this. Mm -hmm. The tongue was into pieces. We're still thinking about it. It doesn't really go away. I am suffering. No medicine for beloved. Oh, Beloved's neighbor drove him for three hours to the nearest hospital, where local doctors did their best to save his life and reconstruct his face. Despite years of effort, results fell short. Dr. Aaron Collins explains the initial procedures Beloved went through as a 10-year-old boy. Okay. So he took um, a piece of tissue from his stomach to start with, he attached it to his uh, left forearm and then they connected it to his forearm like a graft and then they released it from his stomach okay, and attached it to his mouth um, while still connected to his arm. So he had the, the tube attached to his mouth for about six months and after six months then they released it and then they did several operations to try and structure it as, as much as possible. We didn't have the chance to see him for the first month because he was in intensive care. After he was transferred from trans, uh, intensive care unit, that's when I laid my eyes on him. I said, oh, God, help us. Sitting with Beloved at the hospital in October 2006, Operation of Hope promised to do everything it could to help. We told him we would like to bring him to the United States where our team of highly skilled volunteer reconstructive surgeons would rediscover his beautiful face. Beloved travels 23 hours via London in his first ever flight to his temporary home in California. Beloved will be staying with Operation of Hope program director Jennifer Trubenbach her husband Ted and their daughter Mari, and then flown back to Africa after the surgery to be reunited with his family. <laughs> Welcome to America. Okay. 
Okay, you listen up to what Dr. Blackwell's going to say because this is going to be your surgery, okay? So the surgery I would recommend for him would be an operation called a forearm flap. And that's a living tissue graft that we take off his wrist area. Uh, and I would use skin from his wrist and forearm mm -hmm. to replace the skin that he currently has in the region of his upper lip, lower lip, and chin. I asked him if he ever dreamed in his life to be in the United States. He said no. Not in his wildest dreams. He never thought he would be in this country. And he's happy to be here. You know, we're all excited that we're going to be able to hopefully make an impact on his life. Mm -hmm. so. On October 29th, 2007, Beloved underwent major facial reconstructive surgery that took nine hours and a team of 15 medical personnel. Team leaders Dr. Blackwell and Dr. Azizadeh felt this microscopic surgery was one of the most powerful transformations they had ever witnessed. In a mere 18 months after meeting Beloved, Operation of Hope flew him back to Africa to be embraced once again by friends and family. <laughs> this time, Beloved has a whole new look on his face as well as those around him. Very much excited. <laughs> the moment comes with much anticipation. <laughs> Love you. 